Welcome back. Let's dive into the master information delivery plan, the MIDIP, M-I-D-P. It consolidates all of the task level delivery plans, the TIDIPs, the T-I-D-Ps, into a single framework, kind of a, just a list of all of these tasks in one place. Why do we need to establish the master information delivery plan? Well, the MIDIP allows you to manage all of the information deliverables, whether it's a 3D model, a schedule, a schedule, a program, an approval, a document, a certificate, all of these different things, and make sure that they're assigned to the right teams or team members, and that they're all aligned with the project or exchange information requirements. Yes, that's right. But the MIDP doesn't just list tasks. Another critical purpose of the MIDP is to define dependencies and deadlines to map out how deliverables interact with each other. For instance, the architectural team's concept model might need to be validated before some structural designs can proceed. So by aligning these dependencies, the MIDP avoids bottlenecks and keeps tasks flowing smoothly. The MIDP also strengthens quality assurance by setting clear validation and approval processes. It specifies exactly who reviews each deliverable and what standard must be met and how compliance with ISO 19650 requirements. Like naming conventions and metadata is ensured before sharing information with the team. Yep, absolutely. A well-structured MIDP ensures all of these deliverables are sequenced to keep the project moving without starts and stops. Uh, we've all been there struggling with managing time. But Akosh, from your experience, what challenges do you face, have you faced with these uh, creating them and implementing a master information delivery plan? Great question, great question. I think it's even going back to the lack of creating an IDP. So when a new project starts, we just typically want to jump into the execution. But the time invested in planning is really critical. Without proper planning, projects are typically set to failure. So the development of a master information delivery plan really enables teams to understand interdisciplinary workflows, develop parallel planning strategies and identify when work is intersecting. So this proactive approach allows, for example, to not only perform clash detection on a project, but rather build a process that follows clash avoidance. So we are avoiding clashes as we model because understanding each and every discipline, how they are going to proceed, we can really avoid these clashes being created during the modeling process. So I've learned throughout these projects that it is fundamental to establish a comprehensive best structure plan right at the beginning. Yes, exactly. Planning starts with listing each team's deliverables, whether it's models, drawings, or documents or data sets required at every project stage. It's important to involve these teams as they are the experts. One method we found to be effective is to use full planning approaches with uh, sticky notes on the wall. This promotes a huge amount of cross-company collaboration at just the right time for the project. Once we have the list, the next step is to classify these deliverables. For instance, you could categorize them by disciplines like architectural, structural, or MEP, or even by project phases, such as concept stage or design phase or during the construction phase. This classification makes it so much easier to track and manage everything effectively. Now let's look at creating a schedule. Setting clear deadlines for each deliverable is crucial. It's not just about knowing when something needs to be completed, but also ensuring that it is going to be reviewed and approved on time. One thing I've learned is to always identify dependencies. For example, if a structural model relies on input from the architectural team, that sequencing needs to be accounted for to avoid delays. By mapping these dependencies, you ensure that everything flows smoothly within the project's workflow. Yep, the integration of all of these task information delivery plans or TIDIPs into the master information delivery plan, the MIDIP, can be done in many ways. We have found the most effective to be using a database-driven collaborative planning tool. The TIDIPs outline the detailed plan for each task team, and all of these individual task level plans are consolidated into a single master information delivery plan. This integrated approach ensures that all of those tasks are aligned with the bigger picture, 
creating a cohesive roadmap for the project. And of course, it's essential to check that everything is synchronized with the project milestones and overall requirements are going to be met to avoid any misalignment. And finally, we come to defining quality assurance procedures. This step is essential to ensure that everything meets the expected standards before it moves forward. So you need to establish clear review processes of what gets validated, who does it and how it's approved. Additionally, ensure compliance with ISO 19650 standards like naming conventions, metadata and security protocols calls. These procedures will help to keep the project on track and ensure the information we deliver is accurate. Yeah, absolutely. So in Plannerly, we have a master information delivery plan that brings together all of the task information delivery plans from all of the teams and it allows the lead appointed party to invite all of these teams to define their own scopes, assign deliverables and align the timelines all within a single cohesive plan. Let's look at an example where Plannerly's scope module is used to show how simple this can be. The MIDP acts as the central framework for all of these deliverables. And from here, we can pull in from the library any deliverable that we might need and visualize it in the grid. We can assign it to specific teams and specific team members. And each of these deliverables can also have a set of checklists. Here we can assign it to team members and also define a status and a duration for the task if needed. We can also add checklist items simply by pasting a list of these in. We can define a set of checklists that need to be done in order for compliance to be adhered to for that task. With the quick assign tools on the right hand side, we can start to define what has been proposed and what team is responsible for either approving or taking responsibility for delivery of that task. So we can go through assigning teams and the status of tasks really quickly using the quick assign tools. And then we can filter this list of requirements to see what has been proposed, go through this list and start to review and approve certain aspects. This really gets the team aligned on what has to happen, maybe assigning accountability and then going through the acceptance of accountability before you print it into a contract. Collaborative production of information can only occur when you have this collaborative agreement of all parties. We can use the filters to see what's approved and really key in on the parts of the plan that are important. Maybe just seeing what is now pending by filtering just the pending tasks we can start to understand what needs to then be reviewed and refined. Plannerly also enables you to view and build dependencies between all of these deliverables. This is the timeline view where you can clearly define when each item needs to be delivered and how it ties into the overall project timeline. It creates a cohesive schedule, schedule, program, plan, and allows you to manage not just the individual deliverables, but the sequence in which they need to be completed. And the compact view that we see here enables you to see the broad view of the entire schedule so that you can understand what the dependencies between teams and tasks are. We can filter each of these, drill down to see specific deliverables and certain teams like the architecture or the project management scope, and it makes it easy for each team to focus on what their responsibilities are while staying aligned with the overall project timeline. By combining these tools, checklists, statuses, de dependencies, filters, and more, Plannerly ensures that that task information delivery plan becomes a master information delivery plan that can remain dynamic, but also accessible and actionable. We'll show you in later videos how you can also use this as the delivery mechanism dropping in attachments and the deliverables to each of these tasks as they go through and collecting them inside of the file manager as well. So remember, don't plan late. Plan early. With Plannerly. We'll see you in the next one.